What is up you guys? Nick here with another video. I just received my Sprint Galaxy Note 8 in the mail that I pre-ordered from Samsung and I've already discovered how to unlock the wireless hotspot on it without having to pay Sprint a dime. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now if you have seen my previous video for the Note 8 you know that in order to get it on the Note 8 we had to do a data soft reset where we just kind of cleared out the carrier settings and then had to get back in and change a couple settings before Sprint runs their customization software. We don't have to do that with this. They've combined the two APN types so we only have to do the trick once and it works really easily. So just to prove to you guys that I'm not lying and that this is the indeed the Note 9, let's go into About Phone and you can see right there that SM960U, that is the model number for the Sprint Galaxy Note 8. And you can also see my software version and hardware revision and know that this is indeed a Note 8. And then again, just to prove that I am not lying, click I'll click and turn on my mobile hotspot. And it pops up and gives an error. It says, you have not subscribed to the hotspot service. So, obviously I don't have hotspot right now. So then, let's go ahead and enable the hotspot. If you open up the App Store and go and search for Shortcut Master. You'll see Shortcut Master Lite and I already have it installed so I don't need to install it again but you will. It's free, don't worry. And when you open Shortcut Master Lite after you've downloaded it, click the three dot menu in the top, click search, and then type the following exactly as you see it here. It is com dot test dot LTE functionality. This is the same thing we needed on the Note 8. Do search. Ah, I see I didn't put the T in functionality. Yeah, so don't type it exactly as I typed it. Type it exactly as it is now with no spaces on either side. And you can see this is the result we want, this top result, com.test.lte functionality, .lte functionality test, click launch. It might display an ad for a second or two, and then it'll go away, and you'll see the LTE test menu. Now we want to reach the LTE APN setting. And you can see this is what I was talking about. They combined the two APNs. It used to be an APN for LTE and an APN for EHRPD internet. Don't know why they combined them or how, but that's not important because it made things easier for us. So then what we're looking for in this menu here is APN type. And you can see automatically there's already some stuff in it. Default, comma, MMS. And what we're going to add is the comma, D-U-N. And that's it. No spaces, nothing capitalized, nothing like that. No spaces afterwards. Click OK. Click Save. And then that's it. Click home. And I'll show you here now that I indeed have mobile hotspot. And what I'm going to do is hop on over to my Note 8 that you probably just heard me unlock. And I'll open up mobile hotspot. And you can see I, my device name is Cisco WR2700, which I just do that so that if I'm using it in public, it won't say like Nick's Galaxy Note 9 and then somebody else can hop on it. Um, so you'll see here. Now it shows in the connected devices. And that's it. There it is. That dev zero, whatever, whatever. That's it. And it definitely has internet access. And I don't think there's any way for Sprint to catch on to this. I know if you use a ton of data, they will catch on eventually and uh, they can, you know, then bill you or terminate your service, which would be unfortunate. But if you're in a pinch and you really need data on your laptop so you can submit a paper or something like that, then using a couple megabytes here and there will work fine. Um, I know some people run their Xboxes and stuff on it and I haven't heard anything. I've used about 40 gigs of hotspot data in a month before and not had any issues from Sprint, but your mileage might vary. So... Uh, take that with a grain of salt. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and consider subscribing so that you can stay up to date on these modifications and other videos that I post. 
Uh, leave a comment down below if it's not working for you, if you need some help, or you think there's an update out that might um, break this hotspot functionality, and I'll try and get a new video out or give some support as quickly as I can. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.